political rally in the world is underway in Sturgis, South Dakota, with more than half a million people in attendance. But where do America's bikers stand when it comes to this year's election? Automotive expert Mike Caudell joins us with a pulse on the ground. Mike, good to see you from Sturgis. You got the lucky assignment. Um, so, Mike, w what are you hearing from the bikers? Where are they politically? Who do they want to see win this next election? Yeah. Yeah, well, Dagan and Sean, first, thanks for having me on. You know, this is the heartbeat of America here in downtown Sturgis. And I'm going to give you that answer at the very end of this segment. I'm going to make you guys hold out. Here's the scoop. More than half a million people have come here to downtown Sturgis to celebrate everything on two wheels. And the unique part about this year's Sturgis rally is it's not just about regular motorcycles like these ones that you're going to see on the street. This year, it's all about adventure and off-road motorcycles like these two right here. There's going to be a race on Sunday. Sunday, and over my shoulder, it's called the Sturgis TT. They're going to race off-road motorcycles, close down this street, and let consumers take a look at what the next level of motorcycle racing is going to be. It's going to be an all-out battle, and it's part of the American Flat Track Racing Series. So race bike right here. This is the consumer-based version over here. It's a Harley-Davidson Pan America. So Harley is moving into the market of off-road racing, and they're doing it with this bike right here to bring in an entire new audience. Now, before I get to the political question. I just wanted to show this to you guys. I found this earlier in the week. This is an airbag jacket. Dagan, I'm always talking about safety. It's like an airbag in your car. It will actually explode open and save you in a potential imminent threat. So I'm going to give it to you right now. I'm going to ask somebody to come down the line here in a minute who they're voting for in the election. Let's see what the answer is. Come on up here, sir. Hey, you're on the bottom line on Fox Business. Who are you voting for? Don't know yet. Don't know yet? Who are you voting for? Don't know yet. All right, so you got some don't knows right there, Sean and Dagan. Let me ask one more really fast. Hey, let me ask you a quick question. I'm with Fox Business, and we're on the bottom line with Sean and Dagan. Who are you voting for in the election? Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Who are you voting for, man? Donald Trump. All right, guys, heartbeat of America right here in Sturgis. Sean Dagan, you heard it from them. It's a big Trump rally. <laughs> but the, I don't know. How about that? Uh, yeah. Hey, Mike, how many EV motorcycles are out there? Are these guys EV guys? No, <laughs> I knew you were going to go there, Sean. <laughs> no, there are no electric vehicles out here. This is all American muscle. These are all V-twin motors. We're talking about Harley-Davidson. I'll ask you really fast, sir. You're on Fox Business Radio. Who are you voting for? Uh, we're voting for, are we talking about what, the race or the, or the, or the presidential? The okay, I'm down for you know, anybody. Hey, you guys know who this is. It's Richard Rollins right here, Gas Monkey Garage. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Hey. Right, I staged this, guys. I'm telling you right now. I purposely staged Richard Rollins to come down. Absolutely. You guys got a question for him? You're not going to tell us who you're voting for? You said you're voting oh. for who? I'm voting for whoever comes in first. I mean, I'm not going to be the big guy that takes particulars or whatever, but uh, we got a hell of a cool TT fix to go down, and I am pretty excited about it. Well, I'm going to vote for, I'm saying Richard, probably going to vote for Trump. I'm not going to put the words in his mouth, but guys, it is the heartbeat of America. It's been amazing to be down here. Thousands and thousands of motorcycles live from Sturgis. Yeah. Sean, we're going to get you a helmet. We're going to get you out here. Dagan, we're going to get you racing on the TT because I know you're a motorsports enthusiast. I, oh, so dirt racing, Mike, I, my father bought me a dirt bike, an actual motorcycle when I was um, four, and that was my first one. And my mother almost had a heart attack, awesome. and I fell off of it and broke my tailbone. That was the first time I broke my tailbone. She needed that jacket. It happens, Mike. right? It totally <laughs> happens. You guys want to see one more? She need, well, one more, then we got to go. Give us one more, well, quick. Well, ask, I know, you need a jacket. All right, here we go. Hey, I got a quick question for you, no? How about no. you? Quick question for you. Who are you guys voting for in the election? Trump. You're on Hell yeah. Trump. 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 Who are you Trump voting for Trump. right here? Trump. 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 It's 100% yeah. out here, guys. It's Trump territory. Mike Caudell. That's your answer. Everyone's voting for Trump. Thank you. He's mentioning TT, not Tampon Tim, I'm sure. Yes. Uh, we appreciate you being with us. All right, still to come, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris.